This is the All Do Cube iPlay Mini 50, and this is my full review. It's really good, especially when you think of the price. And cost benefit is where this device simply shines. If you think about it, the upgrade for an iPad from Wi Fi to 4G costs £180. This entire device costs less than that, and it just chucks in 4G connection because, well, they can. And with a dual SIM option because they can. It's fast and it's capable, it's got a bright, clear LCD screen. It's a really capable little tablet for a little over 100 quid. I mean, what's not to love? I've been using this as my teleprompter screen for the last sort of month or so and it hasn't let me down once. So it's not a device which is just trash and which is just gonna fail on you straight away. It's an Android tablet which is capable of doing Android tablet things. Well, another great use case I've found for it is using it space desk linked to my computer. So I just tap this, it connects to my computer, and then it's an extra monitor. Well, why is that any good? Because, well, what I've been doing is I've been mirroring this and having it on my teleprompter and using it during live streams so I can actually have the video feed on here so I'm looking at the person I'm talking to, or indeed I'm looking at my notes directly for the things I need to say in the live stream. It's been really useful. <laughs> sure, it's not the luxury tablet that an iPad would be, or a Samsung Galaxy, but you know, it does 90% of the job for a lot less than 90% of the price. So what are you missing? Well, firstly size, this is a small device, and I thought that that would mean that I wasn't going to be interested in it, and I wouldn't find a use for it. But I did, and it's been a surprise for me. Now I'm having to go back to using the phone, so if you see me kind of squinting, it's because the teleprompter screen's not quite as big as it normally is. And for a teleprompter purpose, all it really needs is to be nice and bright, and have a good level of processing performance, because this teleprompting app, it actually syncs with the microphone, and so it needs to allow that app to actually be able to process the microphone data to keep up the text with what I'm saying. It's definitely made out of plastic, but it's been made to look and kind of feel like a metal. It doesn't feel super cheap, even though it really is. And you do get some nice accessories, which it comes with a screen protector, and you do get a case in the box as well. It's got a really oddly placed microphone and headphone jack. But it doesn't feel super cheap, and it doesn't feel flimsy. It feels like it could probably take a bit of bashing around, really. Some things, though, aren't going to be anywhere near what you're used to if you're used to using an iPhone or another flagship smartphone. Like this shot on the camera that does leave a bit to be desired, and <laughs> this front camera photo. But, but look, it can get the job done in a pinch. If you need to take a photo, sure. What I have found in a lot of these inexpensive ones is they're actually quite good for macro, quite a close focusing distance. No, not the, not the case with this one. About sort of, what if that is, 15, 20 centimeters, really. It's had quite a bit of an impact in my life, and it's been very easy to use because, well, I am an Android user. The screen does look really good. The speaker, though, does not sound good. I said that the iPad is the best jack of all trades. It's the one device it's that can do a mono job speaker. Of much it's not great. Device. One of my favorite features of PDF Element is the OCR document scanner. So not great, but it looks fab. And it'll be fine for watching just talking head type videos, but the speakers on, for instance, my very thin Samsung Z Fold are far better than that. They managed to engineer this type of speaker such that there's actually a reasonably large, for the size anyway, bass chamber in there, and it does sound quite good. So you want to use headphones if you're watching or listening to something with any serious audio quality. The screen looks crisp though, and it is a good size, which makes it rather portable. You sort of occasionally see a skipped frame when you do the fast flip in there, but it's a 60 hertz panel. The viewing angle is also good here on this IPS screen. It's a little over 1080p, so it's just slightly taller, so content works great on it. It's a good fit, therefore, for a 16 by nine video as well as the vertical dimensions there. Yeah, rotate, so you see it's slightly rotate, taller yeah. than a 16 by nine right. ratio. It's also pretty much stock Android. Of course, you can put your own launcher on top if you wish. So Android users will be absolutely happy here. I'm just trying to think really about who is this for? Who should buy this? For me, it's just a perfect device if you need something to chuck in a bag and not be precious over, or something you can give to your kids and not worry about, or something you can maybe leave in that shed at your allotment, and you can maybe watch gardening videos with your grubby fingers as you work on your plot. Or for me, just something to fulfill one very specific use case, and it can just stay in that position and be ready to go whenever I need to. And I found that the battery life does me for sort of three or four good recording sessions, and I sit down to record for over an hour at a time, normally one to two hours. Maybe a little bit of light gaming. Okay, I will download and play some Mario Kart on it then. And although the G99 chip from MediaTek isn't great for 4K video feeds, perfectly powerful enough to handle gaming at 1080p. It's like coming home, isn't it? Oh, I see. You don't have to tilt the thing. I thought you, I thought you used to use tilt, but there it doesn't. I'm amazed by how little Mario Kart has changed. So there you are. 
it works. The last Mario Kart for a year or so, but not much else though. You're not gonna be able to do 4K video editing on this chip. I'm pretty excited to see what Audio Cube have lined up next though. The iWork might be a bit more suited to a professional audience. They're producing high value devices and not simply cheap and I like it. The MediaTek G99 has been a highly rated device. It's an eight core, six nanometer chip. And one of the best benefits of the chip is that it's light on the battery. So even the 5,000 milliamp hour battery manages to last you a good long while. I'm managing to get around six hours of use as my teleprompter, which is quite good. And that's a reasonably intensive load as well. It's actually a little bit longer lasting than my Samsung Note 20. And that was a flagship phone from a few years ago. And the battery has been through a fair few cycles, but still, it's not bad. You're not looking at performance, which would sort of seem to justify that really low price point. It does have GPS, although the screen sort of fails outside. It's a bit too reflective. And it's nowhere near as bright as the OLED panels that I'm now used to. But it could work quite nicely as a dashboard mounted tablet if you're looking for something like that. It's got 18 watt fast charging, which that's not super fast but it'll do. There's USB-C, there's 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a micro SD card. That's only up to five 12 gigabytes though. And the internal storage is 256 gigabytes, which is fine. Eight gigabytes of RAM and it can borrow up to eight more. Though that second eight bit's not going to be that fast because the internal storage is not massively fast. It's quite a bit of memory and I've found that it's up to the task of multi-switching just fine. So this isn't all you need. It can't possibly be your one device for all use cases, like maybe the iPad Pro or the Samsung S9 camera. Be. But for something that can just slip into your tech combo to fulfill one use case, to fill a gap, it's just fine. And if you think that it fits the bill for you, then buy with confidence. You'll find Amazon links in the description that I get a small bonus from if you buy via them. And thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel.